I'm going to introduce Lieutenant Paul Vance from the State Police, who will talk a little bit about what's known so far. We understand that you are all interested in information. We'd like to get you that information as quickly as possible, but the governor's chief concern is making sure that the families have information as quickly as possible, and that's where he is now. This is Lieutenant Paul Vance from the State Police. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, I will give you some uh, very basic and brief information as we know it now, and we will set up regular press briefings as appropriate. Uh, just after 9.30 this morning, Newtown Police received a 911 call for an emergency at the elementary school. Newtown PD, upon obtaining information as to the statue of the uh, situation, contacted the Connecticut State Police and requested assistance from State Police and surrounding local police departments. On and off-duty troopers responded to the school and with New Newtown Police immediately upon arrival, entered the school and began a complete active shooter search of the building. That included checking every door, every crack, every crevice, every portion of that school. Our main objective was to evacuate as quickly and efficiently as possible any and all students and, and faculty in the school. The, the entire school was searched. That was accomplished. A staging area was set up. The students and staff were put into that stage, staging area. And soon thereafter, the children were and staff were reunited with their parents and their loved ones. There were several fatalities at the scene, both students and staff. Uh, there is no information relative to that that is being released at this time uh, until we've made complete and proper notification. The shooter is deceased inside the building. There's a great deal of work that is undertaken uh, immediately upon locating the shooter, and that is there's a great deal of search warrant activity. Uh, there's a great deal of law enforcement activity, both in and out of state, to ensure that we cover all the bases relative to uh, that, that specific individual. Uh, suffice it to say, the scene is secure. State Police Major Crime Squad, Newtown Police Department, uh, Danbury State's Attorney, and many agencies are working together to answer all the questions around the exactly what happened. As Mr. Ocho Grosso said, we will keep you brief, we will keep you uh, informed on a regular basis. We will put everything out. Uh, via our website and with these press conferences. I'll turn it back over to Mr. Osterio Grosso right now. Uh, the governor took a call from President Obama a little while ago who was calling to express uh, his condolences and condolences on behalf of the nation and pledged whatever resources uh, the federal government can bring to bear to assist the families and to assist in the investigation. Um, we will get you information as soon as we can get the families the information. That's where the governor is. At some point later today, uh, the governor will be here and we will set up regular briefings. Thank you. Again, again, no questions at this time. I apologize. We will not able to answer any questions. As I said, the scene is secure. The situation is secure. We will notify you shortly when we will come back for another briefing. Uh, as quickly as we can. But you okay. can say that the public is not in danger. The public right? is not in danger. That's correct. Hey, Lieutenant, everything's here, right? All the Lieutenant right Paul here. Vance there with the Connecticut State Police.